Hello, I'm Ho Jung Kwok, a PhD candidate at Hanyang University of Korea. Today, I will introduce a deep learning model for the taxonomic classification of CY metabarcoding data. As interest in biodiversity increases, techniques of biomonitoring using environmental DNA sequences have been spotlighted. Especially, the cytochrome C oxidase subunit 1 gene, in short, CY gene, has been widely used as a taxonomic marker. To this time, many studies have relied on homology search approaches such as BLAST against the large database of CUI genes. It's a time-consuming approach for analyzing large data. Moreover, it has low generalization performance for unknown species. Although a statistical model based on Bayes' theorem was proposed, it also takes a long time for classifying large data. Therefore, we implemented a deep learning model that can make fast and accurate classification. Our model processes COI gene sequences in four steps. First, the tokenizer splits the input sequence into a list of k-mers and converts each k-mer into corresponding input IDs. Then, each token is going to be embedded into embedding space by a pre-trained language model. To do this, we pre-trained a BERT-based model using CUI gene sequences reported in the BERT database. After an embedding matrix is generated by the language model, this matrix is going to be aggregated into a single sequence representation vector by a pooling layer. In our model, 1DCNN and max pooling layer were used as pooling method. A sequence representation vector is finally passed into a multilayer perceptron and max constraint module to predict taxonomy. To train our model, about 7 million COI gene sequences were downloaded from the board's database. 5% of them were kept for test data, and all remaining sequences were used to pre-train the language model. Among downloaded sequences, a total of 8 phyla were selected following the criteria shown. For these 8 phyla, taxonomic classifiers were trained separately. Since our model was trained for 8 phyla, the input sequence will be classified at the phylum level first, and then will be passed into an appropriate classifier. Each classifier consists of the previously described architecture. To train each model, weighted binary cross-entropy loss was used as a loss function. Because our model was designed as a multi-label classifier, likelihoods for every class at every rank are predicted simultaneously. Because of the hierarchical nature of taxonomy, the number of ancestor classes must be less than the number of descendant classes. Therefore, they have less impact on calculating overall loss measured by simply sum of BC loss of every classes. To handle this problem, we weighted ancestor classes by the square root of the number of their descendant classes. In addition, both congeneric species and the others are treated as just first classes in common way. Therefore, we halved the loss of conspecific species. We first evaluated the effect of the pre-trained language model by replacing the embedding layer of our model. As shown in the table, the performance of the pre-trained language model was clearly higher than the performance of the randomly initialized language model or one-hat encoding. In addition, we found that fine-tuning the embedding layer for a specific phylum leads to overfitting. When we fine-tune the embedding layer using the analyzed phylum data, the performance of our model was even less than the randomly initialized model. We concluded that Self-supervised running using a large data set is enough to run the general context of CUI gene sequences. We also evaluated the weighting technique, trying to reflect taxonomic structure into loss function. It's clear that weighted BC loss enhanced the model performance for ancestor lengths. We compared our model with a naive Bayesian classifier. Both models were trained using the same data. For phylum level classifier, our model clearly outperformed a naive Bayesian classifier. And our model was also outperformed for 8 phyla at every rank in AURC and A AUPR. Finally, we tested our model for real-world sequencing data. 
We downloaded three Astro Ford mock data sets. Compared to the Night Vision Classifier and Blast Search, our model made accurate predictions in much faster time. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you are interested in my research, please visit the poster session at the conference.